What is going on, you guys? In this episode of uh, BMX the game, uh, how tos, I guess you could call it, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a trick that has been very difficult for a lot of people for quite some time. They've changed the layout of the trick, so now it actually works. Um, I'm actually talking about two tricks. I'm sure that you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm turn talking about tuck nose and uh, t bogs. Both of these tricks have been very hard to do throughout the past, and they still kind of are difficult. Um, Right there, I tried to do one, but he just didn't want to do it. Uh, they're still kind of, uh, they're kind of moody. These tricks, they work when they want to, it seems to be. Uh, there's no, there's no perfect way to do it that I've found yet, but, uh, I will tell you guys how to do them in general. So, uh, as you can see, I did, just did both of them. Um, uh, the start off, I would say the most important thing is to make sure you're getting enough air. Uh, you can't do it off the small ramps, necessarily. Um, he just doesn't like to do them, and when he does, chances are he's going to fall, because I'm pretty sure they have a set time. Uh, he holds the trick for a certain amount of time, and he lets it down. It's not really up to you how long you hold the trick. Uh, so you have to make sure that you have enough air to begin with. So uh, when you're rolling up the ramp, you're going to want to do a hop. Let's start off with the uh, toboggan. You're going to hop right at about before the tip of the ramp. So right about now is when I do my hop. Um... You have to do it a little sooner than you'd expect because the game does have some, uh, not necessarily lag, it just sort of has a, uh, a little, um, uh, I don't really know what to call it. There's, there's a little split time in between when you tell him to do a trick and then when he actually does it. So, you have to roll up to the ramp and hop out a, a little before the tip of the ramp. I usually start right when I'm about on the ramp, right when about both wheels are on the ramp, that's when I hop. Um, and for this hop, you're just going to go down once. If you're watching the bottom right screen of, my, uh, of your screen, you can see what I'm doing with my joysticks. Um, so you're just going to go down once and up once. And that's how you do the T-bog. It's you just go down once and up once. And right as you initiate that hop, you push R1. Um, right towards, I guess not quite right when you initiate it, it's right towards the end. Maybe once you go down and on your way back up, start to push R1. Um, and this will be able to make him do the T-Bog. You have to time it right. It does take a little bit of messing around with. They're very difficult to do um, compared to most games, most tricks in most games. They're uh, pretty difficult to do. They're, they're very moody. Uh, they don't like to work along with you. You really have to fight for them. So that's my biggest thing is you have to push R1 right away. I mean, like, you're practically still doing the hop when you start to reach to push R1. Uh, mine how it ends up being timed out right at the end of my hop I'm already holding R1 and he's reaching for the toboggan so um, that's my biggest tip is the timing of that you need to make sure to be pushing R1 soon enough um, and then for the next trick which was oh that would have been sweet if I would have 3 through that uh, the next trick which is the tuck no uh, it is similar but instead of just going down and up and doing that hop you have to go down up and then down again I believe yep you have to go down, up, down. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, I'll show you one more time with the joystick. Down, up, down. And you have to force it down. You don't just let it fall back to the turtle spot. You have to go all the way down and then let it go back to the middle after you go all the way down. And it's the same thing. You have to push uh, R1 at the just right time. It does just take some playing with it. Uh, I really can't coach you 100% through these tricks. Um, it takes a little bit of playing with it and trying to find the right timing. But I'm pushing R1 the second I'm done hopping. I'm already pressed on R1. So it, it's really, really picky when you need to push it. This one, to be honest, the tuck nose are a little bit easier than the toboggans. Uh, you'd expect it to be the other way around, but it is not. Um, the tuck nose are actually quite easy. So hopefully you guys uh, will figure these out. Just remember this. The toboggans are easier. Keep that in mind. In real life, toboggan is a little bit easier than a tuck nose. So... It's just only one swipe for the hops, while the tuck nose are two swipes. That's the way I, That's how I keep them memorized, how I can remember what one is what anyways. So uh, hopefully you guys have learned something from this episode. No, you don't use R2 for the trick anymore. You use R1 because R2 is the break, and that caused a lot of problems. Um, being that whenever you're rolling up to the ramp and you hit the break right before you hit the ramp, that kind of, uh, that kind of kills you. It really does. So... This is the new way to do it. It does work pretty well. It works pretty slick, especially compared to that old way. I hope that you guys have learned something from this episode. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And the next trick that you guys want to learn, leave in the comments. Um, I, I don't know what you guys want next. So leave in the comments what the next trick that you guys need help with. 
Uh, I'll be there to read them. I'll be there to respond for comments that you guys need help uh, uh, with these two tricks. And then I'll also be looking for suggestions for the next video. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.